to meet the net zero requirements requires a lot of capital expenditure, but in a whole array of industry. And so one of the risks is, and this is one of the concerns when you develop taxonomies, for example, and we were quite clear about this when, when we were developing the Singapore taxonomy, is that you want to avoid unintended consequences around capital flows, because it's very easy to develop an Article 9 fund, and we're going to use this term a lot, an Article 9 fund that just invests in renewable energy because it's demonstrably green and clean. And so you could end up with a portfolio that's investing in a bunch of 50 megawatt solar plants around the region, for example, which is demonstrably green. It's great. But if you need to decarbonize power and industry and transport, that means investing in companies and industries that are in transition. It means investing in sectors that are hard to abate and where there's some really hard work that needs to be done, but where incremental change can really move the needle. But that conversation that you have uh, or the conversation that the market will have with clients is more difficult because it's very easy to say, this is our clean and green fund. It's got 20 solar farms across Southeast Asia. It's brilliant. It's just renewables. But actually, and of course, that is very positive, right? Let's not uh, let's be clear about this, but actually to move the needle on something like the, 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 the steel industry, for example, if you think about the externalities and the carbon intensity of steel and the shipping of raw material where, where we're shipping, so you've got the carbon emissions for transportation, you've got the carbon emissions from steel manufacturing, you have to also invest in hard to abate sectors, invest in the guys that are really making a difference there, even though that conversation that you'll have with clients is more nuanced. And this is part of the challenge that we as an industry have, is having that conversation. So it's not data, it's about having the conversation with clients, having the conversation with the market, and making sure that taxonomies are not leading to unintended consequences around capital flows, that we actually are meeting this massive capital requirement uh, that, that we've heard, which is actually needed across the whole spectrum of the economy, rather than one just narrow part of power generation.